it's like circular thinking so it will always bring you back to where you started it will never progress you it will bring you back to where you started or it will bring you back into a worse place than when you started and that's even you know uh, especially when it comes to alcohol or cigarettes or any of those things you know <laughs> it's getting a bit breezy up the top here um, uh, today I want to talk about five ways that anyone can push through uh, the tough times when it comes to stopping uh, drinking alcohol, stopping any habit, you know, you can use this same stuff for um, for getting rid of cigarettes. If you're trying to stop drinking alcohol and you want some help to stop, we've got Habits V2, which is our program. We've also got down below, we've got a free course that you can take. Uh, it will help you. It's called our Quick Start Preparation. It's part of our Habits V2 program. Um, we've just uh, released it to everyone from the beginning of this year and it really is just uh, it's less than an hour but it will really give you the mindset so change your mindsets in a certain way uh, that will help you to move forward so i mean have a look at that it just it won't take you long to to go through it um all right let's go on with this the first thing that i'd say to you is just to keep um as close to reality as you can and by that i mean you know don't bullshit yourself you know bullshitting is uh, I'm a big believer in trying to stick to reality. I'm a big believer in trying to not, um, in trying to see through my own bullshit more than anything else. And I've been a big uh, proponent of the bullshit theory for a long time. You know, I've bullshitted myself for a long time. Um, but, you know, reality is tough and there is no shortcuts to this. You know, there is no, um, I think you always come across, uh, you always come up against what I call the bullshit limit. And the bullshit limit is that bullshit is short term, that it will only see you through the short term. It's something that is the tool of instant gratification. It allows you to do the things that you want to do in the moment, but it really cuts short any long term plans and it stops you from making those short term plans. You know, it has limits in itself because uh, bullshit has always got limits, but it also limits what you can do, right? And that's a. It's an important thing to, to understand. It's like circular thinking. So it will always bring you back to where you started. It will never progress you. It will bring you back to where you started. Or it will bring you back into a worse place than when you started. And that's even, you know, uh, especially when it comes to alcohol or cigarettes or any of those things, you know. It's important to understand that, you know, you've got... Um, it's not easy to implement these things sometimes, but, you know, it's one of those things that you should really be implementing or trying to implement. You know, whenever you're pushed or harassed or um, when you feel that you're being defeated, there is always an opportunity to learn. You know, there's an always, always an opportunity to think, well, you know, how can I learn from this? You know, I see this a lot when people fail, um, you know, when they have a slip up and they... Uh, through all intents and purposes most people just want to stop and um you know when when you decide that you want to stop you don't want to go back onto it again you know but there's uh, uh for me most of the time it shows uh, your values at that time you know what you value at that time and what your preferences are at that time so you have to look in and dig underneath that and find out well you know what is it that's 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 giving me these thoughts why is it that i went back um but as i said it, you know it's it's an opportunity to to look up where you've come from and look at uh, where you can go and how you can learn this and how you can uh, not repeat the same thing over and over again because what's the point you know what's the point in in continuing to put yourself through um hardships and continuing to put yourself through that the the pain of stopping drinking because you know those first few weeks especially are painful for most people you know um so what's the point in doing that if you're going to have to do it over and over and over again? I did this with cigarettes and it was a horrible, horrible experience. So, um, and I don't ever want to do that again. So um, the, the third thing is that the past is the past and there is nothing you can do about the past. So just because you failed in the past doesn't mean you're going to fail in the future. Just because um, you've drank all your life. Uh, I'm talking about all your adult life. I mean, I started drinking when I was 12. Didn't start really drinking properly until I was 18. But then from there on, it was uh, pretty, pretty full on. It was part of my life. 
Um, but just because I've done that in the past doesn't mean to say that I'm going to, I have to continue to do that in the future, right? Um, past is the past and you can change who you are uh, anytime. It's your choice. You know, and it always comes down to your choice. It always comes down to a decision that you make whether or not you're going to, you're going to move forwards or not. So, um, number four is that there, there is no such thing as defeat unless you give up. Uh, unless you give up trying. Like I said, when I was stopping drinking or when I was stopping smoking, I, I must have tried over, a, well over a hundred times. I mean, it feels like I, I did it over a thousand times, but well over a hundred times. And yeah, I, at some stages it was just, I gave up on myself for a while, but I never gave up long-term because it kept coming back to me that, uh, yeah, this is something which is gonna cause me a lot of, uh, a lot of grief and a lot of pain. So didn't stop from that perspective. So yeah, that's, there, there we are. You know, I learned so much since I stopped drinking. Um, you know, I was a wreck when I, when I first stopped drinking alcohol and I didn't know where, who I was or what I was going to be or any of those things about myself. And it's only through, um, through doing things, going through your own, your own crap, uh, wading through the, the bullshit that you have for yourself that you, you get out the other end, you know? So, um, you know, I think this leads to the final point, which is that um, hard times lead to the greatest moments in your life. And, you know, I can only reiterate where I am now, you know, in this beautiful country, uh, in this beautiful spot in my life. I'm feeling healthier. I mean, I've put on a few pounds over the last six months, you know, we've been planning for this move, but... Uh, where I am now in the frame from where I started out from 10 years ago or nine, nine and a half years ago is just, uh, it's amazing to me that I've done this. And uh, I hope that's an inspiration to anyone else who wants to come up be, uh, after me that there is, no, um, there is no impediment to you stopping drinking alcohol and improving your life, uh, only the ones that you put in front of you.